the method to determine the performance of a data converter are through certain performance metrics data converters are typically characterized by the following performance metrics static and dynamic and under dynamic we have time domain and frequency domain let us look at the individual both these details further under static domain when there is no input signal present we will look at the following details or in the presence of an input signal we will look at the following details one offset gain error full scale error differential nonlinearity or dnl integral nonlinearity or inl and monotonicity we will look into each one of them in the later classes in short offset offset is seen on the input side at the uh, error and the slowest on the lowest side gain error as seen as part of what is the total gain of the blocks and what is the input effect or an output effect full scale error typically deals with saturation of the systems differential nonlinearity gives the difference between the nonlinear parameters integral nonlinearity gives a summation of all the differential nonlinearity parameters monotonicity peaks it should be either rising or not changing or falling or not changing the direction in which the signal flow or the direction in which the transfer function goes through should not change direction when it is present so that is how we understand what monotonicity typically means how much uh, change delta change is always positive or negative but not both in the same time this is about static next we have uh, dynamic where we will look at both time domain and frequency domain characteristics there is a delay and settling time this is the time domain factor you understand after each code conversion what is the amount of delay that is seeing at the input and what is the amount of settling time it takes times to settle at the output aperture uncertainty aperture basically means what is the input dynamic range that your system can handle at the input of the adc so since you are and that forms the aperture and that is basically analogous to the aperture of a camera which determines what is the amount of input light that can enter into the camera here it is the effective voltage that can enter into the adc input third is distortion and harmonic content this is a frequency domain parameter distortion is anything which disturbs the signal harmonic is a multiplicative frequency meaning either it could be the twice the frequency thrice the frequency each one of them is called a harmonic like how the analogous to uh, how you have octaves on a music musical note and as you as the seven notes complete each one of the frequency you go to a higher octave so similarly it is called a higher harmonic uh, in uh, analogous content next is signal to noise ratio signal to noise and distortion ratio this is also again a power parameter as well as a frequency parameter it tells you how much of uh, signal power is present uh, and how much it has to deal with the the in band noise power that is present so as you take the ratio of it you get the signal to noise ratio as a power or as a signal amplitude analogously then there is the idle channel noise when there is no input coming how much of a noise is present that is the idle channel noise then there is a dynamic range and spurious free dynamic range what does this mean what is the amount of input that you can give right without saturating the output that was called the dynamic range or spurious free dynamic range is how much of an input can be given without any other uh, noise frequency being present within the dynamic range such that it doesn't saturate it earlier we will look into each one of these details in the next class